guys like Dale Finuc in a rap also. He's been a great leader. But Nico Hines, I've said, I think I said it last week on the show, he's a real leader and something that I did not expect from him at all. He's a real leader on the field, a real leader at training, a real leader in meetings, and he talks really, really well. I'm going to say I think there's still a hell of a lot of improvement left in the Sharks. Their right edge defensively, has, in my opinion, has really struggled the first three rounds, and that's where Nico defends. I still think he's got to work on his combination with Jesse Raymond and, and the back rowers out there. So I still think he has improvement in him, and so do the Sharks overall. But the way he's played the first three rounds has been pretty impressive. And particularly the other night, I thought he was good. He took the line on. It was dangerous when he had the ball. Uh, in saying that, you know, the, 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 the St George side weren't good. All they still had five or six players out, so they weren't great. But for the Sharks to score 36 points in those conditions, I thought was pretty impressive. Yeah, I was really impressed with his work ethic. I, I don't get down to Shark Park as much as you do, but I saw him down there after they beat uh, the Eels. He was there practising his goal kicking, video, getting people to video his goal kicking to make sure it's spot on. It just shows... And he was sending that to his goal-kicking coach down in Melbourne. So, you know, he missed a couple uh, in that game previously and then kicked the match winner, obviously. But uh, it just shows he's a professional. It's what comes out of the Melbourne system. Yeah, and he... He's a player and he's unlocking uh, Matt Moyle and a player who, for a long time, you know, we've wanted to see him be terrific and he's, he's, he's really helping him out as well. He's been great. And Moyle has got his body right, which I think mm. is really important. So if he can keep his body right and stay on the field, you know, he, we know his ability. He's got great ability. But everything I've got to say, everything about Nico Hines has surprised me in the off-season. What a leader he is, how hard he works. I thought he was just a chilled-out, surfy dude who, was, who had ability in rugby league. He just come and played rugby league for the fun of it. But... He's nothing but mm. an absolute leader uh, and, and a true professional. Mm. Gus, well, of all those teams that improved in the off-season, where do the Sharks sit for you in, the, in that pile from what you've seen from three matches? Uh, extremely high. The thing about Nico Pines, there's two things about him I noticed, particularly watching him live a couple of times this year. And he's always been deceptive. You kind of think he's not moving all that quickly. He kind of loafs across like a surfy dude, as though he's <laughs> yeah. not really concentrating. But his mind is going so quickly. And he's actually he's lulling you into a false sense of security. He can surge. But not only his legs quick when he says go, but his, his hands are quick. You'll see a couple of times there the other night where he had the ball in his hands and there wasn't much doing, but then he realised now is the time to let it... And his hands moved really quickly and he would feed a Moylan or someone else and give them time to throw the next pass. Now, you can't teach that to a playmaker. That's, that's an innate skill. That's something that they, they pick up themselves as they go. And most playmakers want to do the absolute. They want to throw the pass that puts someone in for a try or puts them through a hole. Where Nico Hines is really good, he's happy to share that glory and he lulls you into a false sense of security and he knows when to let it go to give you enough time to catch it, look and have a pass. And that came out a couple of times through the game the other night. And I've watched him on replay. His hands, once he decides to go, it's bullet-like and it's really quick, which means his mind's working quick. Even the one there where he sort of sorted to the line, but you could see he was thinking and thinking and then he went bang and surged and went between them and scored the try. I know the two... You're talking about two tries in particular. Yep. One was on the left-hand side of the field. One was on the right-hand side of the yep. field. So I know he, he never held the ball for one second longer than he had to. Yep. Gave his outside man. This was one of them. This one is the other one. See, just catch pass, yep. catch pass. Everyone was able to catch pass, score in the corner. That's I understand exactly what you're saying, and that's it's beautiful play. Does not hold the ball for one second longer than he has to. And I understand what you're saying. Halfbacks, halfbacks want to be the, the the big guy. They want to be the big gun throwing the final pass. Yep. And he's not about that. He's all about the team. It's hard. It's hardly ever that he throws the pass to someone and gets tackled. He's firstly throwing you a pass to say it's your turn to pass it, and he he, he makes that decision for everybody. Really, really impressive. Like really impressive what he did the other night. That's. Origin class, mate. Mm. Look out.